Hey guys, and welcome back to another campaign challenge. Today we're doing He Won't Be Back, where the challenge is to assist King Bela and defeat the Austrian Duke Frederick in the 5th Kotjan mission, A New Home, before 45 minutes have elapsed. After we left Hungary, weakened and defenseless, the Mongols invaded, defeated King Bela and his army, and devastated the country once more. The kingdom is in such a poor state that refugees say that the church bells in Hungary have been quiet for weeks, and wild animals now roam the streets of the cities. King Bela fled to Austria, where Duke Frederick used the king's weak position to extort land and make him swear fealty to the Holy Roman Emperor. Just like us, King Bela fell for the treachery of the Austrian duke and the Hungarian nobles. Our people stand at the crossroads. We received a letter from King Bela pleading with us to return to Hungary and help him deal with those who wronged us. Many of our leaders are not convinced and still wish to go to Bulgaria. It is not an easy decision, but it is I who have to make it. For I am the new great Khan of the Cumans and they depend on my wisdom. I am no Kotian, but I will follow in his footsteps and ensure the survival of our people and their legacy, something which he had fought so hard for. Our troops are okay, we need to follow the Cuban chief to the Danube River. Hints. Oh, there's lots of hints here, as this is in several sections. We're restricted to a pop 150 and cannot build docks. The Hungarians under King Bela will actively participate in the fighting, so protecting them is in your interests. Oh, we'll have an ally that might do something. The many Hungarian villages provide resources to whoever controls them. They will produce fewer resources as more buildings within them are destroyed. Either help King Bela conquer them or burn them to the ground to deny your enemies additional resources. There are still humans in Hungary. If you find them, they will join you. In Bulgaria, the Bulgarians have been weakened by recent rebellions and weak rulers, so do not expect very much help from them. They will occasionally provide you with conics, however. The city of Nesabar is being supplied by sea, so starving its defenders out is impossible. Only with a full frontal assault can you breach its strong walls. There are scouts. A large body of Cuban horsemen has assembled and is ready to cross into Bulgaria. To the west lies Hungary. King Bela has launched an offensive against Frederick, Duke of Austria, and the rebellious Hungarian nobles. The Austrians field an army of knights, pikemen, crossbowmen, and Teutonic knights, while the rebellious Hungarians will train crossbowmen, pikemen, longswordsmen, and light cavalry. Bulgaria lies across the Danube River to the southeast. The Bulgarians have recently lost the city of Nesabar to the Crusaders of the Latin Empire and need your aid to retake the city. The Latin Empire relies on an army of knights, skirmishers, throwing axemen, and pikemen. Rumor has it that another Cuman Khan is roaming the Balkans. Perhaps he is willing to join forces with you. The Byzantines have lost the city of Constantinople to the Latin Empire and remain unable to retake it. Regardless, they seem to have regrouped and are now trying to retake the land that they had previously lost. Okay, don't know how that relates to me, but we'll go for it. Ready to sail across the Danube. The Bulgarian Tsar is expecting us. Okay, let's we'll follow this guy. Oh, there's a nice army. And some destroyed buildings. Please do not leave. It was the Austrians and my rebellious noblemen who were responsible for the murder of Gotian. Help me make them pay for their betrayal. Go to Bulgaria or stay in Hungary. I guess the challenge is to help him, so we'll have to stay in Hungary. Oh, so not everyone I comes fear to me, but some people do. Here. We cannot forgive the Hungarians for what they did to our people. We will go to Bulgaria instead. I am okay. glad that you have decided to join me in arms. We will make these Austrians and rebellious nobles regret their dishonesty. Okay, locate the ruined castle wonder and defeat several enemies. 
Uh, what do we do with the ox wagon? We'll just follow along, I guess. And we'll see what that flag is. The villagers in this region will provide us with resources if we can keep them under our control. A uh, what? I don't have the resources for a town center, so I guess we'll go for the lumber camp and try to get a town center established. Or wait, are the ox wagons like the ox carts from Age of Mythology where I can just drop resources at them? Okay, we'll have to figure out how those things work. Ox wagon and ox cart. Oh, we need to bring them to the flag area in front of the wonder. Okay, okay, so they're not like that. <laughs> oh, and now we have resources for a town center. Let's go on the berries so we can take some food. Yay, more villagers. And let's get a house made. There. And we're, oh, we're in the Imperial Age already. Nice, so we'll have some upgrades. And next we'll need to build up a bit before we can take on those guys. Do we have any other buildings? No. Just that wonder. The destroyed Cuman building. Okay, that camp doesn't look like it has too much in the way of actual forces guarding it. Just do some micro here. Now you guys can fight the light cav. Do a bit of micro. And you guys head for the skirmishers and whatnot. You guys can take out skirmishers too. They do have armor, but we can kind of one-shot them. Let's hope that they, what age are they in? Oh, the neutral Magyars. They are in aim, so they do have murder holes. Oh well. Let's go on to wood. And hope that I can actually get a lumber camp over there. Bella still conspires with the pagans. He forgets that he oh. bent the knee to me once before. Okay, let's see what happens when we go down here. We captured this somehow. I'd love actually to have those docks so I can make fish. I wonder if this river has fish in it. Spent seven minutes so far. Oh, I guess that's we have where we have to do take out the troops in those villages. Do we have an ox cart anywhere? No. Oh, that was one of the villages. Okay, okay, okay. Now I get it. I don't quite have the wood for that upgrade. I think that upgrade will be the first thing we try to do. Oh, there we go. I'll try to add in another town center. So 45 minutes, I think that means we go three TCs, and then try to boom after that. Hopefully that will give me some stone. Let's see that, get a couple of crossbows to follow us. Oop, let's fight that. Some micro. Okay, that went fairly well. Let's pick off these crossbows if we can. And try to lure them out. Those guys completely missed. I'll go for the scorpion, thank you. Alright, 
Okay, let's just build some mining camps there so we can get another TC up as quickly as we can. Hopefully let's just take out the garrison and stand near the flag. We don't actually need to destroy the tower or anything. What else do we need to do to save this village? Maybe just get the HP on the tower low. And then we can town center by that gold. And actually, let's get a dock going because we have so much wood. Oh, I can't build a dock. Let's get a market going then. Oh, there's more crossbows over there. Maybe we gotta kill these guys. They'll go down quickly. There's quite a few skirmishers here, actually. And we're lower on our numbers now. We're fighting all the skirms. Gotta keep that town center queued. Did we not actually build that town center? I told you to build that. Oh. And... Oh, maybe I just neglected to do it and built the market instead. Uh, that's town center there, too. Oh, that's a guard tower. Those are rough. I hope we can take it out. I don't think we will be able to, though. Okay, so they're slinging us. That's good. I like being slung. Oh, there would be nice with all those hunch. What eco upgrades do we get as humans? Is there anything we should be thinking about? Probably not crop rotation in uh, 45 minutes, but everything else, yes. Actually, we go for an immediate fourth TC there. Oh, and there is red. If it's only red we need to defeat, then maybe we're in a good spot. I would like some stone for a castle, though. So we can get some more Kipchaks. Or at least some Trebs. Trebs are nice, too. Oh, yeah, this is ours. Oh, it looks like blue is helping us, too. Oh, we should defend them from red, though. That would probably be nice. Let's get some stables up for some step lancers. I'm gonna start getting farms. Yeah, click the button. There we go. I wish you would, like, flare and ask for help. Take out those rams, please, quickly. Okay, so their castle's down, but the rest of the base is standing. And they're attributing us resources, so hopefully they're not completely dead. Alright, we have one military unit left. I really think it's time we start going to Step Lancers. I need to notice that earlier. Oh well. Let's get just get one step lancer out. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh well. My proud knights defeated the fierce Mongols that invaded Austria. What chance do you think that you have against us? Uh, well, we we're humans and we have step lancers, so we should be good. Okay, as long as you don't trip down my town center. Okay, so this is what we do. We put gates behind it so it doesn't run away. And the same thing on this side. And then we rush it down with hills. Oh, well, you died. Need some step lancers, please. <laughs> okay, I well, can't run away if it's packed like that. Okay, just thank you. Stop attacking that tower. Oh, because you got it back. Okay, so that's how this works. We're gonna have to take those towers. 
And the more towers we capture, the more they'll sling us. Got it now. Oh, Treb tried to run away, I guess. Now we just need a few step lancers. Do we have a blacksmith? No. Okay, let's. We have enough step lancers now. We should be able to go for that tower. Alright, we have 26 on food. Hopefully, that's enough to maintain production of stuff. We need houses though. And this TC needs a better gather point. Let's go onto that gold. Okay, get our step lancer numbers up. And I'm worried about my castle being trapped down. If I put it there, but it will be on a hill. So we'll try to take advantage of castle on a hill. <laughs> In range of their castle. Okay, probably not the best location, but oh well. It's what, it's what we're going to be going with. Okay, we really need to take better care of our idols. Like you guys. Not that deer and the coat of berries. Let's help out these. Oh, you upgraded to Arbalest. Nice. Should be able to take out these halves pretty easily with these step lancers. And now it's conscription and then trebuchet time, I guess. But oh, well, that castle will hit their villagers at least. Might need to repair it at some point. Let's see how the step lancers do against Teutonic Knights. Okay, Teutonic Knights might actually be a counter to step lancers. Look at that, they do no damage. And I do need a blacksmith still. But we have a castle that can deal with them though. And we need maybe some kip checks to deal with Teutonic Knights then. Let's get one treb out before we do the kip checks. Or two trebs. Hopefully it's just red who we have to defeat. Okay, so some monks in siege. I think we can take that out with step lancers. Alright. Go for the mangonel. Okay, good. There is allies helping us. And they're retreating. Let's attack that castle now. And we should probably get in more stables. Go for that castle. And Elite Step Lancer, thank you. And I still don't have that blacksmith I wanted to build. And you guys are going idle. And we do need more food still. Oh, don't go under the castle, please. Alright, I like that the castle's down. One more trip, we don't have to wait for that. Is there a blacksmith? More step lancers. We're gonna need more tribute than that, so let's maybe try to take. Uh, we don't quite have the step lancers to take that village. With a couple of trebs. Maybe we could castle drop to take that village. Are we, st are we still taking stone anywhere? I don't see it. I'm going to need more gold though, so we'll go there. Let's 
Should I take out the towers now? Seems one of you feature those towers. Okay, so if it's only red whom we have to defeat in 45 minutes, I think we'll be good. Let's just get these towers out of the way. And get some more upgrades on our step lancers and keep our trebs alive. Don't be killing our trebs. Okay, good. Those towers are gone. Focus that tower. Focus that tower. Our town center is producing. Focus on these idols. And don't let the villas escape. Alright, that's one tower down. And hopefully that gate is the only place they can get out. Looks like they're trying to flee. Take out the town center. Yes. You guys just stop hills from fleeing. You guys run in and kill hills. Do I have a mill anywhere? I do. I can turn on the auto queue. Yep, I got that. And oh no, it's you guys outside that gate. Focus that gate, please. Uh. Team receives 10 free leak keep check. I wonder if our allies will make them. Yeah, I think we're good on our eco now. We will go there for some more resources. Just kill that barracks and then we'll let the trebs finish off the rest of the space. Oh look, a very meager tribute. How wonderful. <laughs> Looks like they might have more base somewhere down. In this direction? Oh, they do. I should have looked at the mini map earlier. Oh well. Oh, well, we have step lancers, we don't need to worry about that. Okay, and we also have tons of wood, so we start adding in more stables down here. go for these rams and we'll clear out this village on our way to that castle. Uh, no more upgrades there. Anything else at the stable? Nope. If there's a way into this village. Oh, they've upgraded to heavy scorpions. Should be able to take that out. Maybe we can treb down that tower. You guys come in here too. And instead of all that wood, we don't really have too many on wood to begin with, but we can always put fewer on it when nothing we're making costs wood aside from these trebs. We have a huge army of stuff lancers now. Okay, and I think we still have enough time to take out this Austrian. Let's go Trebs, we'll focus on those gate towers, we'll get up on the hill first though. Better draw them out of their base. Then we'll use the hill to take this fight. Okay, Teutonic Knights are actually up. Oh, I wanted to run in, but the pathfinding brought my units back instead of forward. I think that's a difference between the user patch or default 
pathfinding and DE pathfinding. Actually, what we do need is food, so let's take those hunt animals while we're there. And we do have quite a few farms, but quite a few seems to be not enough. Actually, the guy probably resigns when his castle gets killed, so let's just focus on that first. We have enough trebs, we can basically one-shot it. Farms are crafty, you take the deer. Run inside, take out the mangonel. And okay, the castle's down. And up oh, there he goes. Well, there goes the Austrians in under 45 minutes. I hope that's the challenge. Guess I can actually tab out and see if I got the achievement. Alright, I got plus one achievements. I didn't check for the exact one, but I think that means we're good. Now we can just calmly take over the rest of these Hungarian villages. And we have one more trip back here somewhere, do we? Yes. Uh, just delete you. And you guys will be in charge of building the forward stables now. Bring the trebs up and we can put this on faster speed now as we bring everyone. Oh, look at that. A few elite Kipchaks we can bring with us, and an ox cart we can bring back for more resources. It's, but maybe we should have been more aggressive in scouting for those. But really, we can just make step lancers. So uh, give me more pop space, please. Oh, that was all my idols. Great. Oh, we can do this village first. Captured four out of five. Trebs go for the tower, and everyone else was getting a troll. Let's just spread out and take more gold. Okay, we've taken this village. It's all of them. Now we need to defeat the Hungarian nobles and then the Hungarians. Wait. Oh, defend the Hungarians, not defeat them. Oh, okay. Whew. I got scared there for a moment. I was like, wait, do we have to turn on our ally? But I am nope, glad that we have finally found you. We abandoned Kotian when he needed us most. While we cannot undo this displace. We can assure that his legacy lasts forever. Okay, so thank you for putting me over the pop limit with the uh, Hussars, which are not siege. Why am I going back there? No. Uh, I must have right-clicked there and accidentally will lose my trebs. And then not have the pop space to replace them. No. No. Okay. Uh, keep them alive. Bills repair. Okay, I think we're gonna keep most of them alive. Okay, repair the trebs. Like most scenario reinforcements, they are uh, rather useless and also uh, worse than the units I was making. <laughs> oh well then. I suppose deal with some of this infinite unit spam, I guess. Take out towers with the 
step lancers. Well, that's some good infinite unit spam you got right there. Where did I send those guys we'd gotten earlier? I'm tempted just to delete all of them. Oh, there's a Gaia unit there. Let's grab you. And we can start taking out the production buildings along with the towers. Oh, we have 11,000 food. I think it's time to delete some farmers. There we go. And where are those guys? Okay, so the Hussar can be deleted. And the non-siege can run down here immediately. And we'll just keep that step lancers being queued from those stables. And we start adding in more stables here. Let's bring them closer. Probably get a ram to deal with the wall, but oh well. Just step lancer our way through it. And now we go for the castle. Here comes some paladin. We do have all the upgrades. I feel like they're producing extra fast and they've glitched onto their archery range foundation. So I guess we could actually play this a second way if we go to Bulgaria instead of staying behind. We have dealt with the insubordinate lords that tried to destroy my kingdom. Your people have my eternal gratitude. For a moment, I thought that the kingdom of Hungary was lost forever. But with your help, it has survived this dark time. Hungary is in your debt, humans. Oh, okay. We are victorious. So let's turn to the map and see... Well, I guess we also could have gone over to Bulgaria instead. It's not a big transport ship journey, but a journey nevertheless, where we would deal with the Latin Empire, who has, I guess, once again taken Constantinople. But we have the double walls like we saw in the Barbarossa campaign. So yet another making of Constantinople for the uh, for an Age of Empires campaign. Maybe we'll have to go back through and play the the second half of that. Interesting, I haven't seen a scenario split into two halves and you only do one of them before. But the achievement was to kill the Austrians and we did that, so let's check out what happens at the end. Well, this will be an interesting writing of a story because it'll have to cover both sides. It has been years since I last saw the lands of my ancestors. Although I still often find myself awash in fond memories of my younger years on the Eurasian steppes, I do not grieve. For it is fate that has led us here. Our people have spread out to all corners of the world, leaving a strong mark on it. In Hungary, the daughter of Kotian married the eldest son of King Bela, and many of our people live there in peace now. The Cumans, who were enslaved and sold by the Mongols years ago, have carved out a new empire in the Middle East. I even heard that these Mamluks, as they are now called, have defeated the Mongol army invading Syria, halting their relentless expansion once and for all. Much blood has been spilled, but I can see a bright future for the people of former Cumania. One where we, like our ancestors before us, will keep on shaping the records of history.
So that's it. I think we'll I think I'll go back and actually play through the second half of that mission next. So thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.